What's up friends, Liron here with another quick video. Um, this time I want to show you um, two paintings that I did today, two watercolor paintings of birds. And the reason why I want to show you these paintings is that actually painting birds <laughs> is what helps me many times when I'm kind of in a rut or I feel like things aren't really uh, moving along. So I just wanted to share that with you because um, two things when drawing birds or generally like... Um, um, organic sh objects like that have round shapes and stuff like that it's really good because you have a lot of room for error so um, both in terms of the shape which as I said organic and in terms of the color because birds tend to have such an interesting mix of colors as you can see here um, so I just wanted to share that and to just uh, briefly talk about what I think I could have done better, I'll splice into the video the reference material that I used for both um, drawings, both paintings. So let's start with this one. Uh, what I really like about this one is that um, the original picture, I really was attracted to this uh, golden orange color here. Um, and I do think I was able to sort of get the gradual change here from light to dark. And also, uh, these interesting contrasts here next to the bird's um, legs here, that you have the uh, very dark area here of the tail and the wing. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with this one. Also, the the log here or the tree that she's standing on is quite interesting. I like that. Um, I like also the way the background m matches, like the painting. If you notice, if you pay attention like closely, you'll see um, where I use this orange, I use a bluish background, and where I use um, a more of darker, um, also here a little blue and here a little brown, I use redder color, like more red, more um, warm colors, just to give it a nice contrast. Uh, generally speaking, I used um, the yellow lemon, I think, uh, the red here, the, I don't know what red it is, let's check, it's a permanent red, and um, yellow ochre, which looks terrible now, uh, and then some um, metal lake deep for the feet and stuff like that. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with this one. Now I'll show you the second one here, and I'll also splice in the reference. Um, this one I'm pleased with, but it's a bit of a different style, I'd say. Both of them, none of them is really <laughs> realistic, I think, but this one has a little more resemblance to something realistic. Well, this one looks a bit more uh, cartoonish, I think, in my opinion. Um, maybe it's because of the pen lines that make it like pop maybe a bit too much. I'm not sure. But I do like this painting. I did make a few mistakes here with the... This area could have been much darker, I think. And also here and the legs. The color is not enough interesting, interesting I think. Um, also, I tried creating a contrast here with the background to have this area really shine. I'm not sure I was able to, to convey that as much as I wanted, but still pretty nice. For this one, I used uh, mainly the phthalo blue. Um, I used the yellow ochre a lot in this area, here and down here. Matter Lake Deep for the feet and the beak. Um, and yeah, that's it. Now, this is the second video I recorded. It's like really fast and just uh, showing a review, basically, or a critique of uh, quick paintings that I did. And I want to know uh, two things. One, do you find this interesting that I critique or review or just showcase my own paintings and talk about what I could do better and what I did, like what I think I did well. Uh, this is the first question. And the second one, do you like this format that it's really quick, like a few minutes and bam, it's out. Um, let me know what you think. If it's something you enjoy, I'd be really happy to produce more of these because they're really fun to make actually. So uh, let me know in a comment below. Um, and if you like that, I'll be happy to produce many, many more like this one. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Snapchat, got all the links in the description uh, below the video. And until the next video, take care, I'll see you soon.